Monarch butterflies, they're big, they're beautiful, they're all over the Missouri countryside. But these same butterflies are called Mariposa monarca, south of the border. Incredibly, all of the monarch butterflies in the eastern and central United States travel to Mexico in the fall. They spend the winter together in a few small patches of pine forest. In the spring, they move north again, laying their eggs on milkweed plants as they move north. These eggs grow into caterpillars, pupate into butterflies, and continue north. Then in the fall, the butterflies born on the journey head back to the same spots in Mexico, though they've never been there before. Let's join this amazing journey at the Shaw Nature Reserve near St. Louis. Our tour guides, a group of Missouri fifth graders. There's nothing like being out in the prairie with kids catching butterflies. There's no prettier sight. Uh, tall plants, wildflowers, kids running with nets through the prairie, and they're absolutely elated when they come back to our tagging station saying, I got one, I got one. That's right, you gonna tag them? Yes. All three of you have one? Fantastic. Gerald Axelbaum and Kathy Lewis are fifth grade teachers at the college school in St. Louis. They've developed a monarch butterfly theme for their class. It's uh, kind of an amazing story. It started 12 years ago. I, uh, one summer, had seen a little blurb in a science uh, newsletter that was put out by Monarch Watch. Chip Taylor had put in a note saying he was looking for schools or teachers that wanted to tag butterflies the coming fall to track the monarch's migration to Mexico. We made our own butterfly nets, and we went and tried to catch butterflies and tag them, and just saw how much fun it was for the kids to chase after the butterflies. When we did catch them, they, they learned a lot about them. And the goal became to form a connection for children with nature. Very good, Right in the shed. The fact that monarch butterflies moved south every fall was common knowledge. The mystery was where they were going. It wasn't until the mid-1970s that the answer became stunningly clear. Hundreds of millions of monarchs were discovered overwintering in a few patches of forest in central Mexico. The question of how the monarchs accomplished this amazing feat is still something of a mystery, and something the fifth grade at the college school is trying to answer. And here we've got monarchs migrating from all across North America. How far are they migrating? 2, Peter? 2,000 miles. 2,000 miles they migrate. And what area are they going to? This little spot down here in Mexico that is how big, Miles? Uh, 60 square miles. 60 square miles. The town of Anconguello in the central highlands of Mexico is the epicenter of the monarch sanctuaries. And among the millions of butterflies that come every winter, some carry a signature from Missouri. They put tags on butterflies in the United States and Canada to see how many of them arrive here. Then. We collect them here, and the biologists and the scientists come to see how many of the tagged butterflies are right. You know, we tag the butterflies at Shaw Nature Reserve here in Missouri, and then the butterflies migrate south. And um, it is neat to find out they've, they've arrived there, and when we're lucky enough that one of our tags are recovered. Finally, I am up. Okay, Jake just put a tag on this butterfly. The tag says Monarch Watch on and has a number for identification. And um, if this monarch makes it to Mexico, we'll be able to know that it's one that we tagged in St. Louis wow. at Shaw Nature Reserve. So it's just great. It's a, yeah, it's a way to um, know that they've made it from here to there. So we're all going to Mexico? Just see them. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the fifth grade is a great age to teach, yes. The kids are curious and um, they just are curious about everything. So you can just really get them involved in most any topic because they have the skills to really pursue it on their own. Journey North has organized people both in Canada and in the United States to draw butterflies like you're doing to send them to Mexico so that the butterflies that you're drawing will spend the winter in Mexico with the kids in Mexico and they'll read your messages that you've written on the butterflies 
They'll see what you've drawn, and then they'll write you a message, and then send them back in the spring when the monarchs will be migrating north. For the kids, it's an interdisciplinary journey through math, science, and art, all while exploring one of the great wonders of nature. I love teaching students and showing them the magic of the world and just amazing sights in the world. I have a lot of curiosity, and I guess I share that with my students because I'm always amazed at the things that we can see outside.